Hey guys, today I want to talk to you about mindset and how significantly important mindset is in you achieving your weight loss goals. Um, you know, anytime that you embark on a healthy weight loss journey, a lot of people do it um, at the beginning of the year, right? Because it's their, you know, their resolution, um, you know, and they jump in these programs kind of like half-heartedly. Um, those that usually that are more mindful are those that have been scared into it because their doctor has said, you need to do this, otherwise this. So it's almost like a forced thing. Um, so if that's not you and you aren't forced to do this because of doctor's orders, you have to have the right mindset in order for you to get in the game and win it. You have to know what is your purpose? Why are you losing this weight? Why do you want to embark on this half, um, healthy lifestyle? What is your purpose? You have to have what goal you have in mind. And I'm going to encourage you to actually change your goals. Losing weight should not be the main goal, right? Maybe you just want to look better. Maybe you want to feel better. Maybe you want to have more energy. You know, you have to make your goals small enough and those that are sustainable, right? Make them easy. Weight loss should be a side effect. Maybe it is, I want to be off medication. As I get older, it gets harder and things start hurting and I don't want to be on all these medications. Um, maybe as I have grandkids coming in, I want to be able to keep up with my grandkids. Maybe it's I want to make sure that I'm taking care of myself so I am not a burden on my kids. Whatever your purpose is, you need to make sure you understand your why and you have to change your mindset and not look at it as just weight loss, but what is your real purpose? What is your real goal? Do you need more energy? Are you sick and tired of being tired, right? So you have to gravitate to some positivity. You know, so what I would suggest is surround yourself with positive people. Um, you know, we do a lot of things in Facebook and their support communities. And I know a lot of people don't like Facebook. What I encourage you to say is it's a, it's a free platform. Stay out of the main news feed, right? And gravitate to the people that are going to uplift you, empower you, make you feel good, tell you positive things, um, and stay out of the negative, um, news feeds that might be hindering your mindset, right? Because a lot of times, man... You can read all kinds of things and um, it can bring you down. I, I'm not even turning on the news anymore. I stay out of the main news feed. So really think about surrounding yourself with people that are going to build you up, right? And if that means even the friends that you're hanging around with, well, you know, the, the people that are going to encourage you to do the bad things and you know you want to right side this train, well, you might want to surround yourself more with the people that are going to help you reach those goals and right side that train and hang around a little bit less with the people that are going to derail you. So you want to rethink about um, rewards and punishments, okay? A lot of people look at themselves that food, um, you know, they use food as a reward. It's like, I did really good today, so I'm going to reward myself with food. Um, so they look at food as being a reward and they look at exercise as being a punishment. And that's totally the wrong mindset. You need to shift that. Food is energy and that's all it is. Exercise is actually a great stress reliever. It's going to reduce some um, or produce some great happy hormones that are going to make you feel good. It's going to increase your metabolism. So you have to change your mindset, right? And change your thinking about those two things. You know, food is not the reward and exercise is not the punishment. And uh, the other thing I would encourage you is not only throw out the scale, right? But throw out that calendar. If you are looking that in 30 days, I'm going to get to this weight loss, you know, and this is what I want. It's going to take longer than that. It takes a long time. It takes actually 90 days to form a habit. So I would encourage you to throw out that calendar and just look for feeling good every single day, incorporating healthy habits every single day, right? That is going to be longevity for this. This is a lifestyle. This is what we're trying to create, a lifestyle. Um, other ways that you can use to optimize your success is, you know, identify troubling thoughts. You know, wh what troubles you? And then how can we change that, right? If the scale is something that troubles you, right? Because I will tell you, your weight can fluctuate five pounds within a day, even within an hour, so stepping on that scale is going to, you know, mess with your mind. Don't step on it, right? Uh, and again, you know, if food is that thing that, you know, um, you know, if you're good or bad, right? Food being good or bad, like carbs are bad. 
no, 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 no. Carbs are good. Carbs are energy. You just have to learn what are the right kinds, right? So educate yourself. Um, think about food as being energy. Don't think of it as good or bad. And then think about things that um, you can actually attain. What are some goals that are attainable? Um, you know, if we know that exercise and moving is the thing to do, but it's not likely that you're going to do it, what is something that you can do? You know, don't tell me what you can't do. What can you do? Can you give me five minutes a day? I can give you five minute exercises, right? So, you know, looking at the meal plans. Um, oh, you don't like that? I don't care that you don't like that. What do you like? What is a protein that you do like? So you have many options. What you have to do is change your mindset again. Don't focus on the things that you can't do. What can you do? And let's try to optimize some of the results that you get. So again, mindset, it's huge, huge in your weight loss journey. You have to change your way of thinking. Why are you doing this? What is your purpose? You have to have a reason why. If it's just because you want to shed a couple of pounds and it's here or there and it's, it doesn't matter if you hit that goal, you may not achieve that. But if there's really some groundbreaking proof evidence, that mindset that says, you know what, I want to be a great role model for my kids. I want to show them what it's like to lead life by example. I want to show them what healthy is like. I don't want to be a burden for my kids. I don't want them to have to take care of me as I get older, right? I want to demonstrate for my kids that I was able to overcome adversity. I didn't have to play that victim. I want them to be able to choose that, right? I also look at my dad. My dad is a big reason why. You know, he had, was diabetic, he had um, heart disease, and then he ended up dying of cancer. He's a huge reason why, right? How can I be the best that I can be? There's no guarantee in life, but what, what are my reasons? My kids are my reasons. My dad and watching him suffer, that is a reason. My aunt watching her make unhealthy choices, that was a reason. So you have to have your why, you have to have your purpose, that has to be really strong. That has to be in your mind. You have to shift your mindset and your way of thinking. If you're looking at it as just a really like quick goal to hit because you want to drop five pounds, you may not achieve it. If you have bigger fish to fry and you have a big weight loss that you want to achieve, you have to change your way of thinking. You have to get in that mindset of this is why I'm doing it, right? And look at, look at it as a good thing. This is not a punishment. This is a lifestyle and you will feel fabulous leading this healthy lifestyle. That is the mindset that you need to get in the habit of telling yourself every day, I'm just leading a healthy lifestyle. You are not on a diet.